All right, let's get away from this bitter cold and go down to balmy Florida, where spring training is now in full effect. And our own uh, Fios one CJ Papa, the human uh, spectrum here with that shirt, uh, joins us there. And CJ, do you have optimism, <laughs> my colorful friend on the Mets this year? Are we buying or selling? <laughs> um, I, I think I'm going to buy early with this Met team. I just really think this pitching is pretty good, and I, I think if they can get just a little bit of hitting, I think they'll be 500, and, and maybe if everything breaks right, they can get for that last playoff spot. And if you're around Terry Collins, this guy is a natural-born leader. He's got a lot of energy, enthusiasm, like the Energizer Bunny, teaching all the time, whether it's a, a veteran or a young kid. And this afternoon, I had a chance to go one-on-one -on -one with a Met skipper. Watching you out there, where does all the energy come from? Well, you know, I'm one of the guys who's been very, very fortunate and gets to do what he loves to do, and that's beyond the field uh, with the players. You know, I, I tell my players, they ask me the same question, and I tell them I get it from you. I mean, I get it from the players. You know, that energy, uh, when you're my age and you're out there with those 20-year-olds, you know, you better have some to try to keep up with them because that's what you want to do. And, and, and I also feel that a lot of times players buy into the personality of the manager. So if you play with some energy, they'll have some. Can your starters come together and, and be an above-average staff? Oh, I don't think there's any question. I mean, you know, John Neese last year, 14 wins, 190 innings. Uh, Sean Markham's gone 200 innings before. Uh, Dylan G's, uh, you know, solid, solid guy. You know, we hopefully Johan is, is the kind of pitcher. I, no, I don't know if he'll ever be what he was 10 years ago, but certainly it, what I'd like to have and what I saw the first two months last year. If I can get that first season, I'll take it. In your experience, when you see a guy go out and hit more than 30 home runs, obviously Ike Davis, the next year, do you ever see a guy press to try and get to a number, and how do you keep them from doing that? Well, Ike Davis, you know, you might have those kind of guys, but he's from a, a long major league lineage with his father. He knows exactly what they look. You just got to go out each and every year and uh, do the best you can. And I, as I said last year, which had he not had a bad, for, uh, tough first half, you know, we said if Ike Davis – gets 500 plate appearances, he's going to get 35 pitches to hit in the, in the seats, and he would have. And I, and I feel the same way about Lucas Duda. You know, so we've got some power here. We've just got to go out and, you know, let him and be – we need to be a little patient and get him those at-bats. What do you say the, the young kids like Zach and Travis, so they stay patient? Well, I don't want them to be patient. You know, I want them to, I want them to say, hey, look, I'm coming. I, I, I'm going to go get this job. And Rich, no doubt in my mind, Collins is the right man for this team in 2013. Also, it was 82 and humid today in Port St. Lucie. Well, since you got the big jumbo trying to give us some love there, CJ, I'm going to back off on the shirt comments. Keep up the good work. We'll see you tomorrow night. All right, we're going to wrap things up. We come back. Stay with us.